In this training module, you're going to learn to drive a diesel-electric locomotive and how the controls differ from a multiple unit. This is a BR Class 66 diesel-electric locomotive typically used for freight operations in the United Kingdom. In some trains, it is first necessary to insert the reverser handle. We need to do that on this one. We want to move the train forwards, so move the reverser in that direction. The train brake on the Class 66 uses a sprung lever. Holding it one way will gradually release the brakes until you release the lever. Holding it the other will gradually apply the brakes. You need to keep an eye on the two brake gauges in front of you. The larger one in the middle is the brake pipe. The outside needle shows the target pressure and the inside needle shows the actual pressure. When you apply or release the brakes, the outer needle moves and the onboard control systems will begin to adjust the brakes to match your setting. You can make a change to the brakes and focus on the road ahead while the system works to match the pressure you've set. The second gauge of note is the brake cylinder gauge, which is the second from the left. This tells you exactly what is happening with the brakes on the two sets of wheels on the locomotive. If the needles are raised to a V shape, that means they are fully applied. When the needles are both pointing directly down, the brakes on the locomotive will be fully released. You can learn more about braking systems elsewhere in the training center. But for now, you just need to remember that you are directly controlling the outer needle on the brake pipe gauge and that the end result is shown on the brake cylinder gauge. Keep the brake control in release until you can see the brake pipe control needle is reading 5 bar, pointing upwards. This will release the brakes fully. Watch the brake cylinder gauge to see it gradually reduce to 0.0. .0. Needles pointing downwards, which tells you that the brakes are now fully released on the locomotive and you can move the train. It's important to note that the brake cylinder gauge is only telling you what's happening on your locomotive. If you have wagons attached, they can take a little longer to release. So if the train doesn't move immediately, don't worry. Apply some throttle to get the train moving. As you apply power, notice the ammeter rising, the gauge on the right-hand side with the colored sections. This is the amount of power being fed into the traction motors. Try to keep it in the green section, only briefly in the yellow, and avoid the red section to avoid damaging your traction motors. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground and the train will only slow down very gradually.
That's far enough. Bring this train to a complete stop by holding the brake control in the apply state until you see the brake pipe control needle in the center of your cab desk showing about four bar. The amount of braking you'll need to apply also varies depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill and how heavy your train is. Stopping a train is one of the biggest challenges of controlling it, particularly stopping it in the right place. You'll get better at this with practice. That concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back to it at any time via the training center.